What is going on guys? My name is Francisco and this is the final episode on the new Tisha Corto Lab series. Let's start with my office. This is where I spend most of the time editing videos and answering questions. Over here I have a mini fridge where I keep all the chemicals and media to make all the tissue culture experiments. Over here, this is the bathroom. Uh, there is nothing special, but I want to show you because this is where we keep the pressure cooker to make the media. And the reason for that is because we have the exhaust fan to take care of all the vapors coming from the pressure cooker. Over here, this is the lab. Now, before I show you anything else, it's very important to have a fire extinguisher and a smoke alarm. This is a homemade tissue culture lab, but we are trying to keep everything as safe and professional as possible. We have a small closet to keep the extra flask and lab equipment that is not being used. Right now it's a mess, but we are still trying to move things around. This is the tissue quarter, two shelving units. There are actually three, but instead of having six shelves, there are eight shelves. This is uh, more space efficient, allows us to keep more plants. Uh, all the lighting is 20 watts LED. They are connected to a timer for 16 hours. And the outlets on this wall are connected to their own breaker. That is important because that is 260 watts of lights and about 1,000 watts from the laminar flow hood. Big shout out to the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. This laminar flow hood costs only $40 from a surplus action. If you haven't followed the series, we had to fully disassemble it to get it into the room. We also took the time to give it a fresh coat of paint. The only thing that is missing is the UV sterilizer, but I don't think we are going to use it anyways. On this side of the wall, we have more shelving units. The top two shelves are going to be used for temporary mesh and bioreactors. These two will be for experiments. We have different types of flasks, like baby food jars, 250 milliliter jars with a filter, magenta boxes, 500 and 1000 milliliters. The bottom two shells will be for light plants used for experiments. And these other shells will be for a combination of plants that cannot be outside during the winter and the plants that will be the flasket from the experiments. The lights are also connected to a dimer on an outlet from this side of the wall, which is connected to a different breaker separate from the ones on this side. That is important so we don't uh, cause any issues overloading any of the, of the electrical outlets. I hope you have enjoyed the tour of this tissue portal lab. Yes, it's on my house, but none of this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't from plant cell technology. So to make it official, I got this. Yes, it's a little big, but there we go. Uh, make sure to subscribe to plant cell technology. Also, uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. This is just the beginning. Uh, we are all very excited about this new lab. It's going to allow us to make a lot more experiments, more educational content for all of you. And anyways, until next time, my name is Francisco and goodbye.